morning. Welcome back to my channel, Our Wounding Footprints, and happy Friday to everyone. Uh, so one of my uh, my husband's friends that he works with gave us a bunch of uh, serrano peppers and jalapeno peppers. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, some are, most of them have turned red. There's just still a few green ones in here, but that's that's okay. We're going to dehydrate them. And then here's all the jalapenos. So I thought you might want to see me uh, do these and put these in the dehydrator they look beautiful in jars and later on when you want you just open up your sealed jar and um, once they're dehydrated they'll be brittle in the seeds and they're gonna be really hot so you can take them out and you can grind them up in a, your grinder like your uh, I have an extra grinder besides my coffee grinder that I use for spices and you can actually grind these up and make your own spices and you know add different stuff to them so anyway so what we're gonna do is you take the peppers and we're not gonna we're gonna leave the stems on and then we're just going to go around, and of course I'm wearing gloves. You're just going to poke holes in each one. Which, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. It's worth it. I'm just using my cake tester as my prong. Well, the end of that one fell off, but that's okay. Anyway, so you're going to poke holes on them. That helps them dry faster. And then you're just going to put them on the uh, dehydrator trays. Let's see if I can just hold them down here. There we go. But leaving the stems on uh, is a lot better than taking them off. And you're just going to poke holes everywhere. Pretty simple. You could actually cut them up if you wanted to. and uh, But that, that would take forever, especially with the serranos. The jalapenos, you could do that too. But I've done this before. I have ones from actually two years ago that are still just as beautiful in the jars and I doesn't take a lot to make your spices you know to grind up but you could give them as gifts you put them in your quart jar or pint jar and uh, pretty ribbon for Christmas time or whatever and people love this kind of stuff so basically that's all you do I'll do a few of these and then I'll do some of the jalapenos I'm just poking holes all over like that and the jalapenos now the jalapenos are probably going to take a little bit longer time to dry because they're bigger but I'm just going to poke holes in those just like that let's do another red one just like that let's do a green one I go all the way around these because they are bigger. And I'm going to put them in my dehydrator at 125 degrees and probably about 24 hours is what these are going to, and like I said, the jalapenos might take longer. The serranos are going to be about 24 hours. Okay, so let me get these trays loaded up and I will bring you back when I have them in the dehydrator. Okay, I got one full tray of the jalapenos and a couple little scragglers of the serrano peppers. Uh, one thing about the jalapenos when you poke your holes or if you use a sharp knife or whatever you want to go all the way around and just make sure you're wearing gloves and it, they will splash so try to keep your hand as close as possible when you're poking the holes so you don't get you know the juice splashed all over you but okay on to the dehydrator. Okay here we are at the dehydrator. I've got three trays of the serranos and one tray of the jalapenos. And I've got it set at 125, and like I said, it's gonna take about 24 hours, if not more, for the jalapenos. So I will bring you back when they are all finished. Okay, my dehydrated serrano peppers and um, the jalapeno peppers are all done. Took about, these took 24. The jalapenos, jalapenos took about 35 because they're they, I left them whole but I just poked holes in them but they're dry if you can hear the seeds kind of hard to hear in those but you can really hear them in the jalapenos oh there we go so now we're going to put them in jars and uh, seal them up with my sealer and we'll have some beautiful peppers so let me get my jars uh, ready and we'll get started 
Okay, I'm gonna use quart jars. I've already washed my jars in hot soapy water with a little bit of bleach and made sure they're really dry because you don't want any moisture when you're dehydrated, uh, put stuff in a jar because it's gonna, won't stay dehydrated very long. So I'm gonna use my little canning thing here and we're just gonna start putting them in here. They're so beautiful in the jar. And I'm gonna, these are great for Christmas gifts, you know, put in a gift basket with other stuff. It's, they're just beautiful. And then you take them out, whatever you need, and you just grind them up in your spice grinder. Okay, we're going to have to rearrange these or shake them down because since they are whole, okay, put some more in here. I think I'll do one jar of just the peppers, and then I can put, you know, mix some of those jalapenos in with one of the jars. Because I don't, I want to not, try not to break them. But they are a funny shape. But the light and dark colors are so pretty. And you might have to break a couple, but I don't want to get enough in the jar. Beautiful. I have to break a few of them. That's okay. It won't hurt anything. And the seeds build out. And since these are heirloom, um, well, I don't know if you could really use the seeds since they're dried out. You might be able to. We'll have to look into that. But these are definitely heirloom peppers. Okay. I think that's enough for that jar. So when I reuse my seals from canning, because I can't use them in canning anymore, but I can definitely use them to dehydrate. And you put on your canning jar seal sealer lid and hook it up to your, de your sealer. Hit the canister mode and it's going to be noisy. It sucks all the air out and preserves them. I'll show you jars that I've had for two years and they're still beautiful. Hopefully this seals. Okay. Sometimes you hear them pop, sometimes you don't. No, I didn't hear that one. So let's make sure that it's sealed. Yep. It's sealed. Here you go. There's one jar. Beautiful. Okay, this next jar, we're going to mix some of the jalapenos. We've got some red and green ones. Put some of those in the bottom, and then some of the serranos. I think I'm going to get probably another jar. They're so beautiful. I love doing stuff like this. And then a couple more jalapenos. more of those. All right, let's take this off. This out of the way. See how many we can get in there. Like I said, if you have to, you can break the little green stem off. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay, a couple more, and then I think that'll be it. There you go. Here's another one. Put your seal on. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, it just takes a few seconds, but it's all you can. You can usually dehydrate just about anything, as long as you, you know, make sure there's no moisture left and you seal it up. It should last you for quite a while. And I keep them in my pantry where it's dark and cool in there. So there it goes. I heard that pop. I don't know if you did or not, but that one popped. There's another jar. Aren't they beautiful? I just love them.
jalapenos and serranos. Okay, I think I'm going to get one more jar out of this. So I will bring you back when I have this one filled up. Okay, here's the three jars that I just dehydrated. The serrano peppers and the jalapenos. It turned out beautiful. So out of, I don't know how many there was, but I got three jars out of, these were actually given to us, the, the three that I just did from a, a guy that works with Ed. And so I wanted to, I'm going to send him a jar to him and his wife so they can, since they gave them to us. And then the rest of these are from my garden. Uh, some are two years ago. Uh, let's see, well, I think one is 2015. I have a couple. These are the Serranos, more Serranos. These are actually goat horn peppers, which are your green pepper. They're hot too. They're spicy. And I believe I have I have some other um, those little Chinese peppers. Oops, I guess I need to get on camera. Those little brown looking peppers there. Those are the Chinese colored peppers, and oh my gosh, they are stinking hot. But they're good. You don't need very much of it to to spice anything up, but. I love to dehydrate, and I'll be doing a lot more coming up, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and look for some more, uh, you know, recipes, and I've got a couple of videos uh, that I have to edit for my art stuff, so hopefully I can get those up pretty soon. I know people are probably tired of waiting, because I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I just have to make, wanna do, make sure it's right, so thanks for watching, and I hope I catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.